Aquarius, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the second half of March of 2021 spiritual advice readings. I'm going to start out with the Universal Love Deck by Tony Carmine Salerno and I'm going to lay a Celtic spread. Then I will bring in one of my many tarot decks to clarify whatever astrological signs and or elements by which this cap, uh, this Aquarius will be connecting with uh, during this general reading. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whichever Aquarius I am reading for. Sun, moon, or rising, male or female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. Please bless this Aquarius with clearly defined messages regarding the second half of March of 2021. So we had a card jump right off the bat. I'm feeling by mid-March of 2021, we have an Aquarius here who is being guided to kind of reflect. Maybe you've been reflecting lately on how far things have come, on how far you have come, who you used to be, and who you are today. In the thoughts position of the Celtic spread, we have the retreat card. So Spirit is really nudging this Aquarius to kind of take some time out to reflect, to meditate, to slow down, to breathe. In fact, check this out. In the foundation of the Celtic spread, we have the meditation card. So don't allow distractions. Now is a time to slow things down, to reflect on how far you have come or on how far you and another have come. Uh, to uh, spend some quiet time, uh, giving thanks to the little things, communicating with those around you. Yes, in the past, we have you or another, is what I'm hearing, Aquarius, who has gone through some form of rebirth. Now, it could very well be that uh, if you're a younger Aquarius, that you gave birth to a little person, uh, a job, a relationship, or a new perspective. Either way, uh, you're giving birth and spirits guiding you in this moment to, again, rest, reflect, take time out, and really give yourself a pat on the back for how far you have come. Spend some time with that baby, uh, spend some time with another person, for this could also be a rebirth, coming back together and looking at new perspectives, starting from here. You know, not going back there, but starting here. Relationships, giving birth to a relationship and realizing how far you have come in the area of relationships for some Aquariuses. Now, from the 16th to the 22nd of March of 2021, we have the celebration card. We have some form of dream becoming a reality. So it's time to celebrate the little things is what I'm hearing. Um, don't allow for distractions. Put a lot of time into time alone or time with someone reflecting on the positive. Now in the actions position, we've got the inner child card. So this is about getting to know a deeper part of yourself, uh, rising to a higher spiritual level where you're getting to know yourself better. This is pretty deep. Dreams become a reality and you go through some form of rebirth or you and another go through a rebirth and spirit saying slow down and reflect on how far you or both of you have come. Spirit is giving you in the inner strengths position, Aquarius, the divine guidance card. So they're saying, follow your instincts as your dreams you'll realize are slowly but surely becoming a reality. Uh, you may be getting to know yourself better or you and another are getting to know each other better however that may apply. So in the hopes and fears position, we have fear. 
fear of allowing some form of reality, some form of love to fill your heart. So I feel like this is a very self-protective Aquarius. And Spirit saying now is the time to rise into a higher part of yourself. A deeper part of your inner child energy. So how do I explain this? As you grow, those around you and the things that you experience grow to be better experiences than they were before. You can connect with better people than you did before because you have grown and matured spiritually. You or another, or again, both you and another have grown spiritually. So spirit is saying, allow love to fill your heart. Don't fear love. In the outcome position by the last week or two of March of 2021, we have relationship. And pretty much a confirmation of what I was just explaining. It is time to find meaning within yourself first, how far you have come, who you've grown into, right? And how far another has come and who they've grown into. For as we recognize a higher, better part of ourselves, so too can we now open our heart to love where maybe before we couldn't. Thank you, Spirit. So on a three-card summary to my left, Spirit saying, listen to your intuition. It's time to create a more sacred union, whether it's romance or just happiness with a soulmate, a family member, a friend, and so on. Because something unexpected is manifesting. A new cycle is beginning for you and or another. And miracles are being born. Then we have the heaven on earth card that most of the collective has been getting. We can then unplug from the negative and send light and love out to the world. And realize that all can be well. So to clarify, I'm going to bring in the sacred circle tarot. I like to bring in a tarot deck for confirmation because it helps for me to confirm any astrological signs and or elements by which this Aquarius and others may be connecting with during the second half of March of 2021. All right, so right off the bat, we've got the Five of Cups. We have regret, worry, sadness, regarding maybe a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or just regrets in general. It's time when the Five of Cups shows up to let go of what used to be and celebrate what is. So Spirit's saying, reflect on how far you have come and let go of old regrets. In the thoughts position, uh, the death card is about a spiritual change. Uh, the death card can also be about endings. Watching something and bringing things to an end. I feel like Spirit saying, take some time to reflect on how far you have come and how you can now let go of old regrets. Bring an end to old regrets. Take some time to slow down and to meditate, right? On all that you have experienced and who you are now. Do not allow distractions if you can avoid that during the second half of March of 2021. For what used to be is now falling away. Okay, there may have been some delusional energy regarding an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Or maybe you were focusing too much with the sword's energies on unhealthy People, places, circumstances, situations, environments, worries, fears, uh, experiences. But now the tenth sword is coming to cut away from those swords. The tenth sword is coming to say, no longer do you need to deal with old, uh, unhealthy circumstances. Don't allow yourself to be pulled back into something that has dissipated and ended. For some, it could be an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. 
It is now a time for victory because you've reached the Ten of Swords, the end. And now the difficulties are dissipating. You can free yourself and bring an end to old regrets. In the recent past, you had the birth card. So that was a birth of a job, a relationship, or a new perspective. In the past, uh, I feel like, well, a couple things. There could have been a desire to give, to, uh, to, no, I'm feeling a perspective. I'm feeling like an Aquarius energy, which is normally the king of swords energies. Uh, this Aquarius is now carrying the energies of the king of cups. And the king of cups is someone who can sit patiently, um, who is emotionally balanced, who can give all of their heart and kindness and goodness and love in a very balanced way. Uh, some, I'm going to say because it's here, uh, may be feeling regretful because of a, a connection to an older water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio in the past. An old relationship to that person. So that may apply to some. All right, so from the 16th to the 22nd of March of 2021, uh, we have an Aquarius who is... Uh, Carrying the warrior energy. So is showing up with the leather on and the sword in their hand. Um, trying to protect and defend. But see, the number eight is about, it's like the infinity symbol. No longer do I need to repeat unhealthy patterns, behaviors, or cycles. For now, I can rise above them and celebrate that I can lay down the sword and allow for dreams in my life to now become a reality after old regrets. So in the actions position, we've got this inner child energy, knowing oneself better. As we watch the wheel of fortune turn in our favor. With the inner child, I'm also hearing child is growing and changing and the difficulties are falling away. Therefore, you don't have to put on your leather and carry a sword. You and another are both moving into a better place. And the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. So follow your instincts because Spirit is going to bring divine guidance here. Watch for signs and synchronicities. With the five of discs energy, sometimes this is fearing that you don't have enough in some way, feeling sad, depressed, uh, clinging to your money. But spirit saints, we will help for you to go through a transformation where you can accept that you have enough and lay down that sort of protection. Follow your instincts. When it comes to an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, when feeling like maybe they aren't enough, maybe um, they're restrict, you're fearing that they're going to restrict their connection with you or that you are restricting your connection with them. Yeah, it's time to take some downtime to let go of all the regrets of the past and to trust that spirit is guiding you when the divine guidance card shows up to celebrate new dreams, watching dreams become a reality so you can lay down the sword of difficulties tied to the past. So in the hopes and fears position, well, there's fear here. But spirit saying, allow love to fill your heart. Yes. So you may be restricting yourself from opening your heart to an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, but Spirit saying, open your heart to an earth sign. Open your heart to uh, becoming with the husband energies, Mr. or Mrs. Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Allow yourself to fill your heart with love and become a husband or wife energy, to lay down that sword. To open your heart. I keep hearing that. So in the outcome position by the end of March of 2021. 
find meaning within yourself and so too will you be able to find that same meaning regarding another or others. So with the Page of Discs energies, uh, there is healthy energy coming through communication with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. So find meaning in that communication. Again, slow down and look at how far you have come and know that now you can together create dreams. You can free yourself from the barbed wire that is around these pentacles. Follow your instincts. Take some downtime. Bring an end to the energies of protect and defend. Now, when the wheel is here in your actions position, this is a karmic wheel. This is about if I make bad decisions, I'm going to go backwards into energies of misfortune. If I make good decisions, I can free myself from some form of restrictive energy and I can allow love to fill my heart. I can communicate about love. I can find meaning as I open my heart to others. I can take uh, the regrets from the past and I can learn from them and move forward with an open heart. So in a three card summary, we have Page of Swords, wanting to communicate a wish come true. So give thanks to the little things for stability is on offer here for you and another or both of you. Mid-March. Um, when we go into the fourth week of March, we have uh, potential communicating with another regarding career and finance. Uh, building a solid foundation with the four of wands, celebrating with family and friends. Uh, a situation regarding home, family, or business. Someone's going through a recovery after a lot of suffering here. With the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Swords, a path has ended. And now it is indeed time for uh, to receive a gift from the universe in the form of the Ace of Coins. A win, an inheritance, and or a path that is set to grow and prosper in the area of money or a new path that is going to grow and prosper and develop into something wonderful with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. So by the end of March of 2021, uh, we have someone here who is working on their skills, uh, sharpening their skills, and are moving beyond difficulties into a path of success. So success related to one's skills, coming together, creating a bounty of abundance, um, and then we have discontentment and unhealth. You know, so back to earth signs here, give thanks to the connections with others and don't allow yourself to fall into the four of cups energies of discontentment. Yeah, there may, you may feel a little bit at an imbalance here regarding an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, but spirits saying the more time and effort you put in, the more passion and excitement you put in, so too will your ship come in. Yeah, see, you're going to be shining like the sun. Here you are in your element, male or female, with the King of Swords energies, expressing your joy. Reflecting, moving forward, building on the beautiful web of your life regarding, and there's a Taurus with the Hierophant energies. Feeling conflicted, but experiencing success and connection to others and coming to a peaceful resolution. Maybe even coming backwards to a peaceful resolution regarding a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, because there is now forward movement regarding maybe a younger Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, with the Page of Discs energies, who is growing into a more mature energy. So allow love to fill your heart uh, because your dreams are going to become a reality and you're not going to have to protect and defend yourself any longer. Just reflect on how far you and or another have come and give thanks to spirit for something good is manifesting. Should these messages have resonated for you and you have further questions about your own personal journey, feel free to write me for a personal reading at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, and yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. 
i am still offering the winter special which is a fifteen minute video reading for just twenty five dollars if you'd like to give it a try so thank you so very much to all your likes shares and subscribes for your month to month readings and your follow up emails that explain to me exactly how these messages help to guide you into a path of your highest best good um, you might want to click on the bell as I am spiritually guided as to when I should release these videos. Therefore, you will be the first to know. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much uh, for the beautiful donations as those help for me to keep this channel up and running. Take care and God bless.